hello so welcome to my youtube video tutorial series and today i'll be talking about the core fun the core some of the core functionalities of the super admin of this system uh, for those who are new here my name is Cyprian Msangi and this video tutorial we are I'm, I'm trying to show you the I'm trying to showcase you a system which I have done and uh, the series is called uh, Laravel VUXE Showcase Tutorial. It's a video series. I've already done the, the first video. If you have not viewed it, viewed it, kindly go back and view that first video. So this one will be the second video. And uh, as I've mentioned, I'll be talking about the some of the some of the core functionalities of the super admin. So it is a continuation of video 01 and this is video number 2. So welcome and thank you for those who subscribed yesterday. Thank you for those who continued viewing my videos and for those who shared this video and uh, I appreciate much. Uh, so today, uh, as you can see, I'm in the platform of, of, the, of the super admin. And uh, before a super admin can do anything, he's supposed to receive data from the institution level, from the companies or from the graduates. Now, in this case, I have no any data that I have received from any of the above mentioned uh, users of this system. And in that case, I'll uh, log out so that I can go and uh, do some data entry to this system. And in this case, the first user of the system that is supposed to get the system up and running is the institution admin. Now, what the institution ad ad admin is supposed to do He's supposed to fill in some details about the institution, like kind of like an application, an, an, an application to be included in, in, in this system so that the super admin can, um, can approve him, can create him, and so that he can continue doing any other duties that he is assigned in this system. So in, in this case, the institution admin is applying to be part of this system. And uh, I'm going to fill in the details so that... Uh, the super admin can approve this user. So let me start. Uh, let me choose the institution name to be Technical University of Kenya. The registration number let it be 2123. The category of institution let it be VTC. Type of institution public. Country, county I mean. Let it be uh, Nairobi. Nairobi, where is Nairobi? It's supposed to be here. Nairobi. Town, Nairobi still. Nairobi. We have, uh, this form by the way has been provided by VX team and you can see it is very smart. So we have the website. Uh, website is supposed to be HTTPS. Took. .co.ke I have to choose a logo a logo a logo which one do I choose or which one do I choose don't have enough pic enough pictures here so let me just choose this one I had chosen it with, with another university but let me just use it so here we have a banner. Uh, the principal is supposed to be. Uh, hold now. Let me have Kamau here. And phone number. Postal address is supposed to be P O box. P O box uh, Nairobi. Next. Institution admin name. Let me have uh, Peter, phone number, there we go, institution email, we have uh, I took, no let me choose I took, because I took is already, re is already registered, and uh, password, uh, 1, 2, 3, so here I'm registering this institution, so I submit. 
So you have successfully applied for an institution account. So this institution have been successfully registered uh, as an applied institution. So I'm going to log in as the super admin so that you can see what has happened on the other end. So here we go. We have the super admin and uh, here is the is one notification. I've clicked it and we have one new app notification, new institution created by Peter Technical University of Kenya. So I'm going to click this notification so that it will take me directly to where I'm supposed to act on this institution. So you can see here we have the first institution that I registered while testing this system. We have another institution that I need to create it. So uh, this action is going to take some few minutes or seconds because there are so many things that uh, the system is taking out to make sure that there is no any conflict with any other institution and uh, so many things that the system is taking out. The process is very long. So I wait. And so it has been created successfully. So uh, I think I will stop there for this particular action. I will talk about the next action in the next video. But uh, for now, We'll just stop there.